Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, wanted to make a quick video, quick rant, because I spent a lot of time on a song, putting it together, learning all the parts, equalizing the guitar, making sure that everything would at least sounded perfect and the mix came out absolutely flawless. It was beautiful and I go to upload it and it's just about done uploading and it gets blocked completely absolutely and utterly blocked completely I not even blocked in some countries like some songs are this is blocked worldwide why because of fucking greed I am sorry but there is some harsh language I will put it in the title of the video uh, there's very harsh language in this get ready for it sorry did, I hope I, I, I wish I'd have warned you beforehand, but hey, you know, if you have a problem with harsh language, I don't know what you're doing on this channel. Anyway. Anyway. And no, I don't give a shit about Rick Beato. Rick Beato has, he's been connected to the music business for de decades, as long as I have. And he's still connected to all these people, so anything that gets blocked, that he whines about, the guy makes money hand over fist. I make zero dollars from this. I don't make a fucking penny from this shit that I do. Okay? I do this to entertain people. I do this to, you know, bring some light to people's lives. You know? That's what I do. And it keeps me busy in my retirement. I don't do this for money like people like Rick Beato and people like him. So I don't give a shit about him getting blocked, whatever. That doesn't mean shit to me. It's those of us who are these small channels that they don't, we don't make money from this stuff. <clears throat> and we end up getting blocked because these freaking, either the musicians themselves or their management are just greedy assholes and they don't want any chance of anybody using fair use it, which is fair use. If you are making a, a video cover, if you're making a cover of a song, it is covered by fair use. But, it you know, YouTube will not defend us. So YouTube doesn't give a shit about small channels anyway. So they're not going to do anything for us. And if you fight uh, when, a, when a video gets blocked, you'll get defeated anyway because you are going up against the music business and you'll get a strike if you if you fight them that's you know that's the way they do it it's like nazis here i swear to god <coughs> i know that's an overused thing but whatever anyway here's the blocking asshole list these are people who and i'll go into what video i made this morning uh but i'll give you the list of groups that have blocked me and others but mostly these are the ones that have blocked me Fleetwood Mac, The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, ACDC, Bob fucking Seeger, uh, The Eagles, A Flock of Seagulls, are you fucking kidding me? Duran Duran, Ozzy Osbourne, and now, as of this morning, Electric Light Orchestra. Fuck you, Jeff Lynn, if this was you doing this. Fuck you. You greedy piece of shit if this was you. If it was your management, then I apologize. But that's a greedy motherfucking thing to do. Tom Petty was one of your best friends, Jeff. And Tom Petty didn't do this to people. Tom Petty didn't care if people were covering his songs on YouTube and places like that. Tom Petty didn't block. But if this is you, you blocking, I'm sure Tom would be fucking frowning down upon you uh, from the afterlife. Because this is something that he didn't personally fucking agree with. And I know the two of you were friends. So fuck you, Jeff Lynn, if this was you. All these people are doing that block our videos is ensuring that their music dies. Period. That's all there is to it. The more they only allow their music through official channels, the more chance that it will die. I mean, it doesn't really apply with the Beatles. Because the Beatles are the Beatles, you know, they're like the biggest band in history. Zeppelin, probably too. But other groups, they're, you know, they're, you ask any young person, they're like, who, the, who are the Eagles? What are you talking about? And they don't know what they're, a flock of seagulls? Who the fuck is flock of seagulls? They don't know. Duran, Duran, what's that? They don't know this shit. You know, and Fleetwood Mac and their, their concert 
uh, their concert attendance has gone way the fuck down since they screwed over once again for the umpteenth time screwed over Lindsey Buckingham. Hey, you know, life goes on. You want to destroy your group? You want to fade into oblivion? You go right ahead. But there are real groups that allow people to cover their songs and don't freaking block them. They even take it. They take it the money for the ad revenue and that's fine I don't make money from this channel they can have all the ad revenue they want and real musicians know that we are free advertising for them I have actually been contacted directly by many famous musicians and groups no I'm not gonna name them because I don't need people going at them and going hey wait a minute you know if anybody's listening to this that actually is part of the you know the big time music business but I've been contacted directly by many famous musicians and groups that I covered on this channel. And you know what they did? They didn't, co they didn't contact me to go, hey, take that song down. They contacted me and thanked me for covering their music. They thanked me for covering their songs. And I did it gladly. I love to do this stuff. This is what I love to do. And these assholes are not going to stop me. I'm going to keep doing this stuff. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to keep making videos. I don't give a fuck what these blockers do. They go block themselves into oblivion. Fine. You want to block me? I won't do your fucking song. That's all there is to it. Period. It makes no sense to block us. You know, when you look on YouTube for guitar channels and things like that, 99% of the time you're finding these channels which are just glorified fucking infomercials. All they do is they try to sell you shit. Hey man, look at this new amp I got. Hey, look at this. I got this new pedal. This pedal's awesome. This pedal's great. Buy this Boss Katana. Why? Because they're owned by the companies and the companies sent them the shit and said, here, you can have this for free as long as you say something nice about it on your channel. And they say something nice about it on their channel and they get it for free. I know how that shit works, you know, but when it comes down to it, we are a nice refreshing change from that because most of these channels are that. They're just freaking trying to sell you shit. And this shit, like I said, it hasn't stopped me before and it's not going to stop me now. It's irritating, yes, but I know how assholes in the music business are since I spent 30 years in it in various levels. And I retired from the stage. And I'm still doing the music business stuff, even though my old bass player says, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not retired really, um, which I guess I'm not. But I am from the stage. I'm not on the stage. I'm not going to be touring or gigging anymore. But you know, it, it's it's just bullshit when they do this stuff. It makes absolutely no sense. Like it says in the tagline on on the video. Fuck them. Fuck them, fuck their blocking, fuck their music, and fuck their existence. Keep music alive. Support and celebrate groups that aren't greedy, that aren't trying to steal your money left and right, and that understand how music belongs to everyone. They understand it. That's why they contacted me. All of these musicians contacted me very famous ones I grew up watching and listening to and I just couldn't believe it that they contacted me and thanked me for what I was doing because they know they're smart they know that we're keeping their music alive and keeping rock alive in this day and age of auto-tune garbage that's being pushed on people written by five people in the fucking Netherlands you know, you want to listen to fucking Taylor Swift talk about her freaking boyfriends for the umpteenth fucking time through her auto-tuned fucking vocals and her manufactured career? I actually saw a video this morning about her where they were praising her about, you know, her being a good musician. Uh, you know, and, and if you want your advice about being a successful musician, then go to Taylor Swift. It's like her career was manufactured. She comes from a rich family, and they they had connections with the music business. They built her career. She's a manufactured pop star. There are so many of them that are fucking manufactured. They are product, and they were created. That is all. The the days of bands coming up from the from nothing are almost gone, if they're not completely gone. 
making your own group and coming up from, from zero to become famous. That shit just doesn't seem to happen anymore. And it makes it even more harder for musicians when assholes like this block fucking songs. It is so stupid. It is so pointless. And all it is is just unfettered fucking greed. I know Ozzy Osbourne blocking, you know, he's not the one blocking. It's Sharon. It's obviously fucking Sharon. She's the management. She's in charge of all his publicity, all that shit. You know, and it, it's just fucking greed. That's all it is. It's pure fucking greed. So fuck them. Fuck their music. And hey, sorry if you don't like the language, but this is an angry rant. And you clicked on it, you knew what you are getting. We'll keep making covers. Those of us who are small channels or whatever. And we'll keep making the covers from bands that actually give a shit about people hearing their music. And don't care about the fucking money. Because they have enough. Have a nice day. And have a great Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you guys beforehand. Bye bye.